Welcome back guys. So today I'm addressing the issue of the Ninja 5 when it comes to um, firmware 10.54 and also addresses 10.53 for that matter. If you set it up to PQ, if you set it up to HLG, even native, native is actually better than PQ and HLG, not better than a Rec. 709 when it comes to viewing what it is that you're recording. I believe that Automus perhaps went this direction in order for you to see your final rendition of what it will probably be in the end rather than just show you what it is you're capturing right now which makes sense in a way but in a way it doesn't because it, it has to train your way of uh, thought once again before we were used to seeing your levels between 0 and 3200 0 and 6400 0 and 1600 depending on the setup you had in your ninja whether it be pq whether it be native whether it be lut or whatnot all of those gave you different ranges for your meters now it's totally different you get 0 to 200 and that's it this is my thinking behind that and as far as like what it is that the ninja is doing is that they're giving you meters of 0 to 200 but each one of them are multiples of 100. The first line there is for your meters is just 12 and then it goes to 25. So you keep everything there in your skin tones, everything under 12 and you should be just fine. And then everything beyond that is highlights but the Ninja 5 doesn't allow you to go beyond 25 at all. 25 you'll see clippings already all your lines started going flat and therefore you, you know that you're clipping all your data 100% According to this scene, I'm supposed to be at about right here Because if you go back to the thing you can see it move it goes back and forth and if I point it to the light You see it rise up So here this is where your mid tone supposed to be at now How do I know that this is right and I'm not just bullshitting you at all? because I'm using this device here, which is a Luxie for All uh, device, which I highly recommend it. Anyways, you use this, you put it on your phone and you get this, all this meters and everything that you want. And it's really cool. Um, I'll have a link in the description. I've used this before and it works really good. So according to this, it is telling me that my scene right now, if I put the, the phone right up, up on my face, it tells me that I'm at one fourth plus two thirds here. One fourth plus two thirds means 1.8. And that's what my setting is at the camera right now. It's 1.8 shutter speed uh, of 1 60th. And I do 1 60th because of this light, otherwise it flickers. So I put it at 1 60th and I have it at um, a 24 frames per second in 4K mode. The problem with this setup is that it is capture right if I put it under Rec. 709 on the, on the Ninja 5, it looks great. Except if I go put it under PQ like I was used to uh, monitoring before, you cannot see that anymore. So there are a couple of problems here. When you're monitoring your scene, live is when everything matters. You want to see your colors, you want to see your false colors, tell you exactly what it is that you're capturing. Therefore, you're able to calibrate your camera, your lights and everything accordingly in order, you to get, in order for you to get the best scene. So here's the kicker. When I set this thing back to playback uh, within the Ninja and I set it back to false colors, I was able to see false colors on my on my skin. I get to see the, that pink, that light gray, that green and everything, letting me know that I was properly exposed. I need to see that when in live mode. I cannot be seeing that when playing it back. So what does Automus want us to do? Do they want us to record a scene for maybe like a couple of seconds or so, play it back so you can see where you're supposed to be at? That's time taking. It delays everything. It's pointless. If you have to stop, play back your scene so you can see the proper tonality, it is stupid. So that's the reason why I'm saying there's issues here. It's not the fact I'm trying to pick on the uh, uh, Artemis or anything like that. I love the system. It's just that I want it to perform like it's supposed to perform live. I do not need to see that in post or use it in Premiere where I can see all the Luma wave scale like it's supposed to be seen. And here I'm not seeing anything. I don't think there's a solution right now um, because the only way you can monitor now is in Rec. 709 when you set it up, whether it be ProRes, RAW, or whatnot, so you can see everything properly. And the best option for you is to actually use a, a light meter, or if you have $60 or so, is this Luxia for All device for your phone, whether it be Android or uh, iPhone, and you get you can actually expose everything according to that. So before I go, please remember to subscribe, share, or like this video. And aside from that, if you want to get the proper tonality in your scene, use the light meter or the or the Luxi for all here. It will be your best friend moving forward until they fix this issue within the Ninja 5. Until then, thank you, and I'll see you next time.